This trailer is a uh, fire sprinkler demonstration trailer provided to the City of Oak Ridge by the National Fire Sprinkler Association to raise public education about residential home sprinkler systems. So today we're going to be burning both sides of this trailer. One of these rooms is sprinkled and one is non-sprinkled. So you can actually see and feel the effects of having a uh, sprinkler system installed in your home and, and how that incorporates into saving lives. The room to the right here, the non-sprinkled room, will go from ambient temperature to almost 1800 degrees in three and a half minutes, which means that the smoke alarm will initiate in the first 16 seconds or so. It gives you about a minute to get up out of bed and be out of your house before that fire room goes to flash over above 1150 degrees. The residential sprinkler systems are designed to keep the fire from growing for 10 minutes, which allows you escape time and allows the fire department to get there and extinguish it. So if everything goes well, you'll see the room on the left completely extinguished within the first minute and a half of the fire. The room on the uh, right, will uh, the fire will begin and go to almost 2,000 degrees before the firefighters have to extinguish it. We have ignition. So just in a moment, you should, there, there's the smoke. So you see some smoke coming up uh, right to the left of the trailer at this moment. With this wind, it'll take a few minutes for the temperature to start rising. But it looks like it has got the curtains now. You can see the temperature beginning to rise. We're at 75 degrees at the ceiling, 100 degrees at the ceiling. Smoke alarm is initiated. There you go. There's a lot of misnomers about this. The homeowners are telling folks that, oh, if you put a sprinkler system in, uh, they'll accidentally go off and flood your house. If you have a fire, they'll all go off and flood your house. Even in the systems you have in your buildings, the, the heads only activate as heat gets to them. So if, if the heat gets to the first head, it activates and starts flowing water. If it stops the fire or cools the room, then the rest of the heads don't activate. If the fire continues to grow, additional heads will uh, activate. That's the same thing in your house. So even running this at just a few gallons a minute for up to 10 minutes is not going to do significant damage to the house. It might to that room and you're going to have some water damage. But are we really worried about our houses? Because in the 1940s, the government wanted to protect our national assets. What's the most precious asset in your house? I hope it's your life and your family's life and your children's life. Got some smoke now? There we go. There's the smoke, so we have ignition. Clock's running. Smoke alarm initiated. So we have growth, and you see the temperature is 138, 200 degrees at the ceiling now. Continues to climb. You'll see it climb and it'll stabilize for just a few minutes, typically around 500 degrees, and then it'll drop back off and begin to grow again if everything works properly. So we're at 350 degrees at the ceiling. The middle of the room is still 75, and you can see it's still about 53 degrees on the floor. I'll just move out of the way. We're holding about 370, 380 at the ceiling right now. It's hard to look in that room and imagine that the ceiling is, is 380 degrees. The fire is burning behind the couch. You can see the flames flickering up. One of the other things that spreads the fire is you see those curtains dropping down and these embers floating around. As that burning material drops down, it, it initiates other fires within a structure also. We're up in the 500 range now. 
So you can see that the fire growth is not linear with time. So we're approaching two and a half minutes. The wind actually has the fire progression slowed down, but you see the dark black smoke building up in the plexiglass area at this time. The mid room is 113 degrees now. So in just a moment, you should see everything to begin to rise again. So here we go on the rise, and you'll see a very rapid increase in the temperatures now. We're at 500 degrees at the ceiling, 150 in the middle of the room. We're at 600 degrees, 700 degrees, 800 degrees, approaching 800 degrees at the ceiling. We're 220 in the middle of the room, but notice we're still 64 degrees on the ground. That's why we tell folks to stay low and get out. We're over 1,000 degrees at the ceiling. We're approaching 500 degrees in the middle of the room. You can see the flames flipping out of the trailer now, so that's actually our, our smoke that's burning. We pass flash over at the ceiling. We're at 1,500 degrees, 1,150 in the middle. Go, guys. Three minutes and 57 seconds. Can you get out of your house? <laughs>